Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, also known as ETCG1 when I post videos on this channel. And yes, if it is your birthday, I wanna wish you a very special happy birthday. Today's topic, well, this comes straight from the comments to one of the videos that I posted recently to Eric the Car Guy. In fact, every time I post about my wheel spacers, there's an eruption in the comments about how I shouldn't be using them, how they're dangerous, how I'm gonna die, and uh, all the ways that they are right and I am wrong for doing so. So this video is not so much to prove them wrong so much as to answer to them. Yes, if wheel spacers are not used properly, they can become a danger. But these are my wheel spacers and they are uh, quarter inch wheel spacers that I purchased. I also had them modified to be hub centric. So in other words, they center on the hub. That's what hub centric means. Uh, so initially these had a much wider hole in here and you can see the welds and the little inner ring that's been put into there. So now when I install these, they fit snug on that center and don't move around and they will easily slide on and off. There's also still enough of a lip of this hub to stick out to help center the wheel. So with these installed, I'm going to get the suspension clearance I need. So Eric, why did you install the hub spacers to begin with? Well, after installing the coilovers, I found that the inside of this tire was coming into contact with that spring. And some have argued that I should just go out and get uh, the proper sized wheels with the proper sized uh, offset and everything so that they fit inside of here. Well, that's all well and good in the perfect world, but in the world where you don't, you've already spent, you know, 20 some thousand dollars on the car you're building, you're not exactly in a rush to go out and spend a couple grand more on a set of wheels just so that you can get the correct spacing when it can just as easily be handled with quarter inch wheel spacers. So I now have the clearance that I need, which is what I sought all along. So when I first encountered this problem, I reached out to Maxima Motorsports. I figured they're engineers, they build Mustang suspensions and in particular Fox body suspensions. They should know what they're talking about and I'm pretty sure that they've run into an issue like this in the past. And I asked them about running quarter inch wheel spacers and they said, no problem. No problem. This is from the engineers who designed my suspension on my car. I, I showed them what the problem was and I said, you know what, wheel spacers seem like the easiest solution, what do you think? And they said, no problem. Okay, this is from the engineers, not so much from me. So I took a step further today and did some research and it just so happens I found on Maxima Motorsports website about uh, wheel spacing. In fact, I'll link this in the description so you can read it for yourself. But the question is, are wheel spacers safe? Yes. When properly installed, they are just as safe as wheels installed without spacers. Let me say that again. Are wheel spacers safe? Yes. When properly installed, they are just as safe as wheels installed without spacers. Now I could go through this whole ex explanation about coefficient, coefficient of friction and things that they talk about in here, but I just don't want to read you all the boring details. As I said, I'm going to link this in the description so you can read it for yourself and how this works. The clamping force holds this wheel onto this hub and it becomes an assembly at that point. It would take an enormous amount of force to break studs or anything like that. And I'm already addressing the studs not having as much engagement because of the wheel spacer being there. I'm installing longer studs. There will be plenty of thread engagement. So that's not an issue. In fact, they even address it in this article of whether or not changing the length of studs has any effect. It has no effect whatsoever. The effect it does have is it gives me a lot more room for that lug nut to have to come off before that wheel comes off. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep this torqued properly and keep this on the road. I, like I said, I've invested a considerable amount of money here and time, and I value my life. So I wouldn't do something that's dangerous. After you go through this whole thing about coefficient of friction on this page, the other sentence that sticks out in my mind is inserting a wheel spacer between the hub and the wheel changes nothing about these physics. So everything that holds your wheel on normally is unchanged by the addition of a wheel spacer. Now I know, and some of you have reached out in the comments and said this, that in some countries, in some locations, wheel spacers are not allowed. It will fail a safety inspection. And there's good reason for that. Because when you go up to the first line, what does it say? It says, are wheel spacers safe? Yes. When properly installed, they are just as safe as wheels without spacers. 
when properly installed. Well, what qualifies as properly installed? These are hub-centric, and as I said, I'm lengthening the studs to make sure that I have plenty of thread engagement. I would say that that's properly installed and the people at Maximum Motorsports agree with me. So, I just want to put this out there, and, and I'm not saying that wheel spacers can't be a danger, because if they're not properly installed, or if they're not used properly, or if they're incorrectly sized, any number of things can go wrong that can be catastrophic. So what I'm saying is, is if you do use wheel spacers, follow that first line and make sure that they're properly installed and make sure that they fit your application. This, just this little bit here, gave me the clearance I need for my suspension. I can move on to other things. And trust me, I had to modify my fenders enough just to get this to happen, mainly because these wheels are also moved forward. Uh, so I had to do, well, some special mojo that you'll see in future videos to get this to work. But the point of making this video is, is to bring up the discussion here instead of just having a war in the comments to some video. Wheel spacers, if properly installed, are not unsafe. Now there are several different types. The thicker ones actually bolt onto the hub and then have their own set of studs that the wheel bolts onto. I'm not doing anything that extreme. I'm just backing this out far enough to clear my coilovers. That's it. That's all I'm doing. And yes, I want to run these steel wheels, but the real thing you should be concerned about is these steel wheels themselves. This is a performance vehicles. These steel wheels have flex. All wheels have a certain amount of flex. But I would say these thinner steel wheels would have more flex than some. These are made to be cheap. These are mass produced. These are, these are Ford Crown Victoria cop wheels is what they are, is, is all this is. This is Ford off the shelf, pretty much. My concern with these wheels is that they may have too much flex. So in other words, when I turn the wheel, the wheel is flexing and not necessarily pointed in the direction that I'm asking for. And that could cause some squirrely handling issues. That is something you should be more concerned about than the wheel spacers themselves. So if you're advocating new wheels, I've already thought ahead of you and I've already thought if I get this thing to a track and I'm taking corners and it's kind of squishy, what I'll probably have to attack first is the wheels and get wheels with less flex. Alloys, for instance. Of course, that ruins my sleeper look for when I'm driving around the street, and I cannot stress this enough. For the most part, this car is gonna live its life on the street. I'm gonna have two modes for it. There's gonna be a track mode, and there's gonna be a street mode. And how am I gonna accomplish this? Basically, by shedding weight. I'm gonna set this car up to where I can drop 200 pounds, not just getting me out of the car or jumping out while it's driving down the road, but remove 200 pounds from this vehicle, get rid of the bench seat, put in a racing seat, and make this a quote unquote race car for a day. So it'll have track day abilities, but for the most part, it will be driving around on the street. This will be just fine, okay? <laughs> Unless I'm exceeding the speed limit excessively, <laughs> uh, this, this car is gonna be perfectly safe, okay? So relax, but I understand your concerns. And I understand some of you have had issues, but I'm gonna come back with those spacers were not installed properly. They were not the correct spacers. There was some mismatch somewhere, but I've researched this. I've looked into this. This setup that I have here is okay. It's gonna be fine and we'll find out. Like I said, be more concerned about the wheels being flexy than the actual wheel spacers. That's what you should be focused on if you're so, you know, armchair quarterback in this entire build. <laughs> Not the wheel spacers. We've got so much, so many other things to deal with, not to mention a monster that's going between these uh, fender wells. That's the thing we got to worry about, <laughs> keeping that power under control, keeping that power to the pavement instead of sending me into a ditch. These wheel spacers are not going to do that. Anyway, I wanted to bring it up. I will link that uh, article in the description for you to check out. As I said, it goes into detail as far as coefficient of friction, what actually holds the wheel onto the hub. It's not the studs. It's the friction that's created by the tension of the lug nuts on those studs, holding that wheel to this assembly, making this a complete assembly. It would take a massive amount of force to overcome that. And I'm going to stack the deck in my favor by putting not only longer studs, but stronger studs than what you're seeing here. Till we meet again. If you have automotive questions, airatthecarguy.com, also linked in the description. Aside from that, uh, I want to wish you, once again, a happy birthday. Yeah, you got it twice this time. Anyway, be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments.